Okay, how to combat high CPU load in Ableton Live 11. So a lot of you will notice if you're using Live 11 at the moment, it's a little bit CPU heavy still. That's because they're still trying to tweak the CPU spikes out of the system. That's okay, it's been out for less than six months. We've got to give them some time to eke out the, the issues. Um, I didn't use a Live 10 for 18 months because I wanted to make sure all the creases had been ironed out. Anyway, if you're having a high CPU load, um, this is a very basic project, it's one track, but it's going to show the example. As you can see, what I've done here is I've got Anna 2, which is the synth I'm using, and then I've loaded in a load of hybrid reverbs, uh, just to show you a high CPU load very easily. So if I play this now, you'll see it gets up to the 50s, okay? So all you have to do in order to get around that, and to make sure your CPU load isn't as high, um, is simply just commit everything to audio. So you do that by right-clicking, hit freeze track, um, it's going to go through the process and freeze. This could take some time depending on how much processing uh, Ableton's going to need. And in a minute, what we're going to do is you're going to notice there's going to be hatch markings um, already in process. Okay, there we go. There's some ha hatch markings. So that's just to show us the where the audio has supposedly ended because we've got a reverb tail. Okay, all we're going to do now is we're going to go to flatten track. And what that's going to produce is that monstrous audio file, which I've just produced. If I now play it back, you'll notice it's playing at 2% instead of 50% that it was playing at. So I hope that helps, and that should help you with any high CPU load occurring in Ableton. Basically, just make anything audio as soon as possible is the bottom line to that. I hope that helps.